unfortunately and i'm unable to stitch this video here's a screenshot it's a very important video for a lot of parents to watch there's a situation here where uh, an individual was paying 450 rand for 15 years into a policy a so-called education policy but only had 50,000 rand in that investment let me tell you how this went wrong Firstly, in South Africa, there's no traditional education policies, right? When you are finding education solutions for your children and if you're planning along those lines, you have two options or you can have a combination of two. It can either be risk-based or investment-based, right? Combination is the best here. Risk-based meaning if anything happens to you, whether you pass away, serious illness, a disability, the company... An insurance company, if it's, if it's risk-based, will cover your children's education according to the various parameters of that risk policy. Investment-based means that you are investing in different South African investment products and all investment products in South Africa have different fees and different tax treatments. Right, you invest in those products, your, your money is playing on the market and market returns will determine your outcome fees will determine your outcome and advisor commissions will determine your outcome as well. So when it comes to the investment side, investment companies and life companies will market these products, investment products as educational products. And these investment products in South Africa have this different tax treatments, different investment wrappers, different fees. So when you see a situation where somebody has been paying for a decade and a half and the outcome is not as expected, three parties are responsible here. Firstly, in this case, it's all mutual, but other life companies as well, what they do is they market endowment policies as education policies. For me as an advisor, it's just my personal prefer preference is not to look at an endowment as an education policy. Mainly because when you see an amount of 450, it's an indication to me that the person is in a lower tax bracket. And an endowment is a, a higher tax product. It's a great product when applied correctly. I don't feel that an endowment is suited to an educational policy. And because there's a life linked to that endowment policies, it's sort of an insurance element here and commissions on that is very high. So you'll find a lot of tied advisors linked to one specific company selling these endowments as savings products as educational policies when they could have been putting the client in a unit trust where the fees are lower the options are better that's two flaws right there the person doing the investing is also at fault here mainly because how do you wait for 15 years to find out this is the outcome every year you should be reviewing your policy it's your duty the advisor has a legal duty to review this with you every year. But I have clients that don't come and see me every year. I call them, I WhatsApp them, I email them. I'm safeguarding myself. So I know I've attempted to contact this client. They haven't come for their reviews. So it's the client's job to hunt down the advisor. You can't find the advisor, switch to another advisor and find out what's happening in your policy. The returns are low. Why is it low? What's happening in the market? What fund am I in? Does the, the portfolio selection, does it match my risk profile? Right? Those are the things that you need to do. You can't wait 15 years later and find out that your performance is not as expected. The next thing is education inflation. Education inflation is far higher than regular CPI. So you got to be putting much more money away to get the same expected result. You can't be measuring education inflation along the lines of CPI. It's unfortunate that in 2024, we're in the information age that things like this are, are still happening. There's tons of information available. It's your duty as a client to do your due diligence and be in the right sort of product. Take the time to find the right kind of advisor that, that you can trust and have a long-term relationship with.